Yes, the folder. We'll get back to the folder. Meanwhile, yes. Cynthia is somehow trying to get to uh, the the librarian bookstore owner's house. Uh, either Buses. walking or taking a cab, I assume. Uh, Do you, you have any money? Can you afford a cab? I mean, I'm working for. Uh, oh, okay. I'm working for Janice, so it depends. Does do you pay me at all? I mean, do I have I any that, money? You get a free yeah. place to live. That's yes. I mean, I just asking if I get any money on top of that or no. I feel like Otherwise, I do I'm, pay you, but it's it's less than minimum wage because. <laughs> oh like, sure, but uh, she doesn't even like. Do you realize what minimum wage was when she was like around? There wasn't yeah. there was no minimum wage. There was none. Exactly. It was like, but, uh, but, here's some dirt. Bread, yeah, yeah. I made bread, for the but day. you don't. Yeah, you don't pay it's not like like, anything any either. kind of rent. Yeah, you don't buy anything either. Like I, I give you spending money basically. Like which is like, awesome. Yeah, you like like I buy all of the groceries, and sometimes she'll help cook or whatever. But you don't even have it. Probably, I don't think you've probably gone grocery shopping. You have no idea. Yep. Yep. So I have money. Is the answer? Okay. Yeah. At least for a cab. Okay, roll resources. Oh, um, okay. I, I thought maybe facial <laughs> positioning would get me out of that, but no. Sorry. I mean, you don't need well, however. At least, you just need a little bit. Well, at least, yeah, we'll at least give her a bonus. No. <laughs> Damn. Oh. I, it's okay, I'll use fate if I have to. There you go. You are able to no, it, fuck it, I didn't even use it. If Ooh. you had failed, I would have just said it got you halfway or something. Oh, that's fine. Like you did, forgot to tell the cabbie. Oops, I have no money. <laughs> okay, so the cab takes you to the um to the place, and um, Sabir lets you in. Um, so like he's got this like kind of modern looking bookstore like to the front, but when you come in, it's you ever been to like the uh, the borders where they have like the walls and all the books are on the walls and you have to go up ladders to get to them? Yeah. And then you got like chairs and little nooks and stuff. Yep. Uh, but it's like instead of like having the books in the middle, it's just like this living area. So uh, all the books are on the walls, and then there's like a living area. Right. Somewhere to like. That's cool. Look at the books, and then he's got um. He's got like this. He's got this counter in the middle. It's like a circle. So with a two, could I have gotten a coffee on the way here too? No. Just curious. <laughs> okay. You could have had a glass of water before you left. <laughs> Just wanted to know if I could have had coffee. You may That's have a coffee, but it will cost you narratively. My what? It'll cost you narratively. Do you want the surprise? I'm I'm cost? good. The, I'm I'm good. The, okay. the coffee is not <laughs> worth that. No worth coffee. It. No. All right. Um, so yeah, I just kind of walk in and look around. I've probably been here quite a few times. Yeah, you have. Um, so I'm like, I was, so you know why I'm here. Um, I, I feel like with everything going on and with wards acting up, it would be helpful if I was able to help out Janice a bit with that yes. type of thing. It's actually pays very well. There's a number of people in the community that pay me to do their wards. That's how I can afford running the shop. I see. I'm. I don't plan on selling my services, so don't worry about that. Just um. Good. Just to help Janice. Very well. So what also, do I feel you like actually it's a bit know of a, how to do. Um. So, like, narratively speaking, I have um. I have thaumaturgy, but I didn't have the fictional position to use it. Like, I have the. Um. Did you actually One have the, the refresh to get it? I thought you had to dial it back. Yeah, I thought that was what the um, problem was. Is that... thought you picked Ritual, yeah. I don't remember that. Cynthia. Um, one second. Okay. One second, I'm sorry. Uh, while there's like this quiet period, I uh, uh this is okay. kind of off topic, and Thomas wouldn't know it, but.
but could I invoke Ignorance's Bliss for Thomas's place to be warded without his knowledge? I had, um, I had Ritual, and, uh, yeah. And I, I, I essentially said, um, I wasn't going to use it all until I was, like, trained in Thaumaturgy, because I right. want Thaumaturgy, not Promise Ritual. You actually can't do it unless we give you some kind of penalty, which I'm cool with. Uh, we'll, okay. we'll give you a negative stunt or power of some kind, and then you could use thaumaturgy. I'll have to think about what it is, but there's going to be okay. some kind of cost. Okay, I think I think it was um, limited in like what type of magic sure. I could use. I don't remember. And let me answer Talk that, about Thomas. It. Yeah, if you want your place warded, uh, it's made clear in the novels that the White Court has access to. Wizardry of some kind, so it's okay. possible they could have ordered it for you. Okay, um, and that's how many and not told you to spend. Just to spend one free point. That's a pretty unusual thing, but it makes sense. Yeah, especially considering there was a war earlier and there was some wizard involvement. Right. Good point. So, yeah. Just um. Okay, so Cynthia, um, he'll like, he'll sit down, and you know, it's not like you can just, ooh, I know thaumaturgy. Oh no, I know. Like it's going to take I, like several sessions of your studying with him. Sure, that's fine. Um, like first, like he just he gives Cynthia the like the rundown on the um on the laws of magic and the uh, the the White Council. And he basically will administer uh, the test that the White Council uses to I was about tell to ask, what is that test? I don't know, because I don't think it's ever been defined in the novels. Okay. Like, um, I think it's like, like a power head. level requirement, not a discipline then, so much. It's, I think there's a certain level of power required. Like there's power, and then there's finesse, too. I feel like there's two different types of tests. I feel like they're like a bit different, depending on the... um depending on the actual, like, person administrating it. Like, there's multiple ways of judging someone's power. Like, sometimes it's just, like, a force of will, like, hey, move this object with your mind, or whatever. Right. Like, um... um or, like... The sight... Or beat me in, essentially, like, arm wrestling with magic. I think it's also, like, you test to see if you had the sight. Because the sight yeah. is, like, a critical thing that only wizards have. Yep. So, um, like, um... Yeah, he does that. He explains like the laws of magic. He asks in my you... go ahead. In my head, I feel like I should do a conviction, discipline, and maybe a like scholarship role to see like how well I'm absorbing slash learning this. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. I, I just felt like maybe um you should depending roll on like four though. Oh. I was thinking um, the conviction to see like how strong like he thought I was in case like maybe he thought he, he may might have to tell the council or something. Sure. Which is why I thought that. Um, but sure, I'll uh, spend a fate on the rapport role. You have an aspect to involve. Uh yeah. Let me look. Um, with sight comes knowledge. I'm essentially just trying to learn as much as I can. Sounds see good. as much as I can. Uh, so let's grab that. Five. Wow. All right. Yeah, he he trusts you. Um, what are your conviction, discipline, and scholarship scores? Um, I don't have scholarship, which is why I was thinking I would have to roll it and like maybe like use some fate points. Um, my uh, conviction is four, and my discipline is three. All right. I I think like he didn't have to roll discipline and conviction. Like he just has you show he just has you show him some ropes you can cast. Yeah, that might be interesting. So do you show? Because him I don't know what. So spell? very quick, very quickly. What have you told me about my magic? Like, have you told me it's special at all, Janice? Um, no, I don't think I know that it's special. Like. I think that all magic is special, and I know everyone's like, special. Everybody's special. Like I know how to make potions really, really well, but I also know that I have 
zero uh, aptitude for evocation and that any other type of thaumaturgy comes at like six times the uh, cost, both mentally, physically, components wise and time, you know, Um, which is why I I hire someone else out. But like, I, I don't think I would have any, like I I've told you the laws and so, you know, you cannot flow against the stream of time. But, but we don't know what that means. Well, you know, yeah, that's true. But, like, but yeah. uh, I was going to say, I don't feel like I would know enough about magic to recognize that your magic is different, if that makes sense. Okay. So, yes, I would show him all of it. I'd also show him uh, my uh, <clears throat> enchanted necklace, too. All right, you tell him about your trip through time. Does he ask? What, like, how does he ask is my question. Like, for he, that. Just, he asks you about you know, where you came from and what brings you to San Fran. Like, he wants to know who you are as a person, too. I know. I'm, I'm saying, like, when he does, like, does he ask this before or after I show him magic, my magic specifically? Because that's. After. The, um, how did he react? He was, like, really surprised. I said, you have a rare talent for magic. That's not a common skill you have. Um, really? I know that I haven't seen it before, but I didn't know it was rare. Almost nobody can control time. Especially not with the finesse that you're showing. You definitely belong in the Wizard Council. I see. Um, I don't know much about them, but I see. For now, it's well, probably better that you don't seek them out. There is a war going on between them and the vampires that rule the city. If you sorry, were to join them openly, you would become a target. Good to know. Um. Well, mayhap later then. <laughs> Definitely later. For now, um, just learn. Yes. Um, well, she, yeah, she would share her story then. Okay. <coughs> hmm. We, I have heard tales of uh, a cult that worships the goddess of rivers. Would you like me to put them in touch with you? Um, I don't know. I've, sure. Why not? Okay, we'll see what happens. I'll put the word out. And, Thank you. Uh, then he just like he teaches you stuff. Like I'm not a wizard, but he teaches you like how to generalize the stuff you know about time to other magics and like how to do things other than just potions. Throw out. Like, yeah, throw out spells or potions or whatever. Right. Like, basic warding and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. But it'll take you, like, uh... It'll probably take you a few weeks of game time to... Sure. ...actually have absorbed the knowledge. Especially with the scholarship of Zero. Why don't you give me a scholarship roll? That's what I was about to say. Uh, Um, can't she... Can't she buy some scholarship points right now? Because, um... You still have some advance <laughs> remaining? So you may rearrange them, but you cannot have more. Oh. Yeah, okay. you have to go to power level for that. Gotcha. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. I will spend... Hmm. I'd have to try and ask you about that a little bit. I'm going to at least spend one fate point for this roll. Um, I have a question. Yeah. With mistrust, what you don't understand, is there a way I can invoke that where it's more like I'm trying to understand this so I can trust like this type of magic better? Like, so I, I I'm trying to understand this so I don't fear it. I don't think so. Um, okay, that's fine. Do you want I, like to I said, say? Before. Yeah, it's too much of a stretch. That's fine. Um, not the mercy of fate. Troubled seer from another age. That's just like learning, and I'm magic. So right. maybe not. And, um, uh, you can usually invoke yep. your high concept, so go ahead. 
with that. Okay, so then yeah, high concept and uh, with sight comes knowledge. I will use both of them. You're going to spend two fate points? Yep. Okay. I needed it. Mm. All right, well, that's actually the threshold that I had determined for learning cool. thaumaturgy. So uh, you can pick it up at the end of the week. Awesome. Thank we'll probably you. Have to start with next session. Um, that works fine. Unless we do time skips for some reason. Oh, yeah. We only have like an hour left. So True. Um, all right, let's go to Axel. Okay. Um, so my question, well, I have, well, my first question is, with my craftsmanship ritual, can I only craft things that invoke wind magic? No, it has nothing to do with wind magic at all. Okay, so it's not limited to the school of magic I can use. Right. Craftsmanship okay. applies to mundane things, too. I think, think of it well, yeah. as you, uh, your ability to repair things is a school of magic in and of itself. Okay. Then I... I would like to try to like, use ritual to craft something so I can like, see fish people inside of people. Like, I, I feel like I need a way to like sure. see... <laughs> like a way to identify who's been possessed, more or less. What sort of object would you like to enchant? I assume this is... A, to me, like maybe a pair of glasses or something like that would be like a visual thing to me. So, like a pair of old glasses or something. I just described the glasses. Um. Okay. So, I imagine they're like metallic, me- metallic, and they're like very thick lensed, but like sturdy and like what you think of from like like the seventies, whatever. Like your really thick nerd glasses or whatever. Okay. Uh, do you want them to detect only fish people or all fairy creatures? So my idea was like people that have been possessed by like fake creatures. Uh, so you want to be specific to possession? Do you want it to be only possession by fake creatures or possession by anything? Probably in this case, possession by fake creatures. Okay. Um... It's pretty specific, so it won't be too hard. Okay. Um, what kind of material components would you like to use besides the glasses? So I have my like ritual circle that's carved into my floor in my right. closet. So I'll use that. And then I assume I have like like a few candles I can burn along the way to help me like help me concentrate better. What else do I have in the apartment? I mean, I probably don't have many things else besides that. I mean, I have like a few pieces of food. I mean, All like right. the apartment's kind of bare and empty. So tell me something that would have like a connection between fairy creatures or. Do I have like possession. any ectoplasm like still coated in me? Ectoplasm actually evaporates over time. So. Okay. It's so right. Um, it took. Mm, I need something left over from like the fae person. You, know, you could by use the if you had any for some weird reason, maybe on your shirt. Um, Janice's hair, the green hair specifically. I mean, if I had, yeah. like, well, I wouldn't know that though. I said, I, mean, I said, yeah. But even if I had that. the green hair, I wouldn't know it was Faye touch. I mean, it or depends Faye. on whether she. she I hasn't don't know. Told what anybody she, about that apparently. Um, yeah, no, I don't so, know yeah. that. Okay. Well, I think I probably have told Eileen, but no, nobody in the party right. know. Would Axel yeah. have premeditated this uh, needing a fer- fairy material? No, he's just like, I need this now that all of a sudden I'm being attacked by okay. fae creatures. Like, you I'm could trying try to, to with... summon a fae creature. Oh god, this is... Okay. Which are resources roll, maybe. If I, if I yeah, summon this ahead. thing, like, how do I use it in my Ritual to create a pair of glasses. You have it help you. Okay. Uh, so you can summon and bind a creature to do a task yep. for you. So you could try summoning a fairy creature and like have them like enchant it with pixie dust or something. I don't know. Okay. Um. Uh, how how powerful of a um? Oh, very weak. Creature. Fake creature would I need? Really weak. Okay, then I will try that. 
All right, so we'll uh, resolve the uh, summoning first. Let me load that up. Okay. I have like um, 15 to 20 minutes left sure. before I have to do let's, the thing. Let's jump over to Thomas. So, Thomas, you look in the folder. It's actually a folder that you've had for a while. Um, it's like a collection of old stuff from high school. Mm. And you open it up, like, and it's like not in the order that you put things in. And on the top of the, on top of the stuff is like this old mix CD that your, uh, your old girlfriend made for you. And someone's like cracked it in half. Oh god. Okay. Um, so, and I didn't recognize the people on the video, right? No. Okay. God. Um. I. Yeah. I th Thomas is just gonna like. He's just. He. Oh God. I'm. I'm so. I'm so sorry, at uh, Thomas. It's okay, Thomas. But um. Yeah, no, uh, he he's just going to, like, try and compose himself, and he's just going to walk to... He's just going to try and walk calmly to Janice and show her the CD and start to... and try to start calmly explaining what the CD means and just break down halfway through. Like, completely. Okay, like, I, I figure, like, probably Janice was in the middle of, like, having a heart-to-heart a -heart with Emma May about what she did and about how what she did was a good thing and it was the right thing, but we need to talk about uh, about the thing. Okay, Molly. And... and how I'll old is Emma May? About six Wow, that's that's early fun. for changeling stuff then. Yeah. Jeez. Well, it was a stressful situation. Yeah, I'm just jeez. Mhm. Mm so like I'm 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 like trying to I guess trying to ask her a little bit more like have her tell me what what she did and like every once in a while like I mutter to myself like oh, I wish your father was here. <sighs> You'd know what to do. But, like, I'm trying not to, like, let that slip out in front of her, but it probably happens, like, at least once. Yeah. Like, but it's kind of under my breath, and I, like, I kind of hope that she doesn't catch it, but, she I mean. She's yeah. so really young. It's like, I just wanted them to see what I could see. That's good, but you gotta, you gotta be careful. Maybe when you and Eileen go out in the future, you should do that. and. But don't don't practice with anybody else. Okay. Okay. And then um Can I practice with Luke? Hmm? Uh that was her brother's name. Yeah, so Luke, Luke is her brother's name. Yeah. Like yeah, like I, I kinda sigh. Like right now, just just practice with Eileen. Oh. Uh, yeah, Eileen'll help you. We want okay. to make sure it look, looks looks really little. When, you know, he's only a couple of years younger, but like you know how you are with kids. Yeah. So, um, like Luke looks really little, and he wouldn't understand. So practice with Eileen, and when Luke's bigger, then then we can practice with him too. Okay. 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 I guess then Thomas has his yeah Thomas. interrupts you guys. So, yeah, Thomas is, uh, I want to roleplay this, kind of. And so Thomas just, like, hands you the folder and says, this is some stuff from high school. Some men put this on my desk. It was my folder, but they reorganized what? it. Look at the CD. Please look at the CD. Yeah. It's important. I, and I go and I open it up and I, I look at it. 
It's like, and like, does it have anything written on it? Or it's like, uh, kind of what her name is, but it would have her name and a heart and Thomas and some like the sparkly gel pen. And it's yeah, like, and it's, um, yeah. It's not like Thomas, it's like Tom Tom or something. Yeah. Mm hmm. Do I recognize this girl from high school? Um, yeah, it was probably a long time ago. Uh, I don't know mm-hmm. if you knew her at all. Okay. But yeah, you definitely would have seen her with Thomas at some point. Uh, you probably okay. would know that. Uh, like, it was like a big change for Thomas when they broke up. Mm-hmm. What What was her name? Did we have like, I'm name? looking at the folder. I was just wondering. Did we have a name? I, I don't think we had a name. Can we go with... Uh, can we go with Aaron? Or not... Yeah, Aaron. Like, E-R- yeah, Aaron is perfect. E-R-I-N. Okay. Uh, why don't we just type that in row 20, so we... Don't forget. Yeah. Cool. I wrote myself a note as well. Uh, Aaron, yeah. I... Gosh, I haven't thought about her in years. I, you guys were dating in, in high school, right? Yeah, she she meant a lot to me, but she, I obviously didn't mean anything to her. Uh, but oh. like, this was all I had, and I, I, I I've tried to have friends with her. I, I suck at it, but I don't know what this means and, oh, God, you may... I, I don't want those ki- the kids... Oh, God. And uh, I, like, I just, like, reach up and I, like, embrace embrace you in a big hug. And I'm like, it's, it's gonna be okay, Thomas. It's, it's gonna be okay. Look. You're, you're with friends now. And, like, I just, like like like, hold him. Like, and like, I think uh, either Emma May would would also join in and give him a hug, or if she's like kind of looking leery, I'd like motion for Eileen to come over and 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 bring her away. Yeah, Eileen will just you know take the kids and go play in another room. There are so many other rooms to play on. I know, right? The See, room like, of requirement exists in here. <laughs> <laughs> do they find us? Let's roll for it. How, how much uh, do they require how, it? You have to tell me if they roll well enough, Thomas. <laughs> Did they roll well enough no. to find it? No, they didn't find it. <laughs> they find the cupboards, though. They hide in the cupboards. Okay. You so a yeah, playing like, of pots and pans. Perfect. So I kind of lead Thomas over to the couch, and like sit him down, and like sit down next to him, and like put the put the folder on like the coffee table in front of the couch, and um, like I turn towards him, and I like I'm like I like hold both of his hands, and uh, I say, please tell me. Tell me about what happened, Thomas. There's so much on your mind. I, I can, I can just see it. Just tell me anything you need, or or nothing, if that makes you feel better. I, I want to help you any way I can. Are you um? Are you trying to get me to open up on my story, or like trying to just calm me down with shoulder to cry on, or like both? It's kind of both. Um, probably, okay. probably calm you down first. That would be my highest priority. Even though, like, I know, it, like, kind of in the back of my mind, that while you're vulnerable, would be the best time to get you to kind of share. But I, I, I care more about you as a friend than I do about getting this story out. So I think it would definitely be, um calm you down first so okay. um i don't i i want to 
I want to say, I want to say that, like, it might be you rolling for not my defense, if that makes sense. Like, th this is an attack, and it's your empathy that's hoping to calm me down rather than whatever, like, rather than my discipline, because my discipline was shot when they used Aaron. Yeah, it probably would be empathy, and um, times would roll rapport. Okay. I'm super good at empathy. Boom. Yeah. Could have rolled better, but... So I'm rolling rapport to calm down or whatever? Uh, just the uh, counter it. Oh, to counter her trying to learn more, or...? To counter to, her uh, trying to calm me down. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And to learn more. Same thing. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I take a, um, a compel to not be able to, um, stop her from learning more? Like, from love as an illusion? Or, not love as an illusion, people, maybe both, but definitely people can pe definitely people can care, especially since she's the one who gave me the aspect. What are you suggesting? Um, to not auto to auto-fail? Oh. To auto-fail to protect uh, to protect information, like I can't not tell her, because I think she's just looking out for me. Uh, whether or not she calms me down is another story, but she will hear the she will hear what my story is. So I won't compel it, but I will allow you to invoke it for effect. And you'll say that you fail narratively without needing a roll. Okay. So you have to spend a fate point for that. Okay. Alright, so Janice learns about Thomas's love is an illusion aspect. And she manages to calm him down. Like, she learns that whatever happened between Aaron and Thomas, like, it wasn't Thomas's fault and it wasn't Aaron's fault. Like, somebody screwed with both of them and it's really hurt Thomas deeply to the core. Gotcha. Did, now, do I know if he realizes that someone messed with him? No, you'd have to actually ask him. Okay, um, so I I guess that would be um, that would be like as like I I finally um, as I finally like calm you down and and get the whole story out of you, like um, you can see me like at some point while you were telling the story, um, I started like petting the the lock of green hair that comes out from behind my right ear just like pulling on it like tugging it stroking it a little bit like winding it around my finger like kind of like a, as an absent minded trait but i feel like at some point you would have you would have noticed that and like when you're done like she just she pulls on it like kind of decidedly like she made a decision and then uh turns to Thomas and says, do you know who was manipulating you like that? Why would they want to, to harm you and Aaron? Okay. Um, like, like I assume that you knew that you were being manipulated, but like, if you didn't know that, then maybe like the way I phrased that would come as a surprise to you. Yeah. Um, Right. Thomas is gonna say it was it she made her choices, I made mine. We weren't manipulated and um it's a lie. I'm gonna roll deceit. Okay. Uh deceit is countered by something. Empathy. I think it's empathy again, yeah. Yeah. The sympathy. 
And can I invoke Ignorance's Bliss? You want because to make it I want even to, better? Uh, to help you or to hurt you? Um, and like, like, do you want a bonus to your deceit roll or against it? Actually, I feel like it should be invoked, but I don't want to. Okay. Like, I want Thomas to be open to hearing what she has to say. And I think Thomas wants to be open to that, too. He just has trouble with it. Oh, I feel like your aspects are kind of canceling themselves out here. Like, you have ignorance is bliss, but you also have people can actually care. Yeah, exactly. So, in, in the cases like that, like, like, I can say, like, I'm going to invoke both these aspects, and then here's what happens, but you don't get any faith points for it. I think you're doing okay. it to yourself, so you just don't get any faith points for it, and you can just, unless you want to actually invoke an aspect for an effect. Mm -mm. Okay, then go ahead and just make the roll. Pretty good All right, roll. and then I, and then I roll empathy to counter that. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you beat it. But yeah, you see through Thomas's lie. I like, I like go back to to like holding his hands, and like look at him until he looks at me, and and I'm like, Thomas, you know that's a lie. I don't think she wanted to leave you. Um, I just stare at him until he says something or responds in some way. He just, he just looks up and he's just like, uh, you're going to be staying here, so you'll see soon. But really, who wouldn't? You need to give yourself more credit, Thomas. You're you're willing to take us in. I can tell you're you are a good person. Look, There's... I'll help you any way I can. Me and Eileen both. Just hope this is not gonna. I, I hope us staying here is not gonna cause you any undue trouble. It's. You are worried about, like, if we were manipulated apart, like you say, then, then, and they put this on my desk, you, you might be in danger, I, this might be a good place to stay, I'll, I'll talk with someone about it over the week, um, but for now, I just, I, I can't think about any of this. I'm just going to... Oh, God. And Thomas is just going to stand up and walk to, like, the master bedroom and, like, quickly open and close the door. And if you listen to the door, you can very clearly hear sobbing and stuff. And like, I got to... I look... Yeah, I was going to say, I look after him, and then just kind of nod to myself like okay like a good cry is what you need right now and then I'll I'll leave you alone okay yeah I gotta go to the ever call now okay yeah. okay um, bye yeah. like one of the this most was fun intense emotional role playing I've ever <laughs> <laughs> I know shit it was don't well worry, done guys. good job I'm good guys. at being good sad job, You gotta be there sometimes. Have fun. Alright, so I think that would be the scene anyhow. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go back to Axel. Um, okay. So give me an alertness roll. You're going to the uh, the call shop? Oh, I was going to try to make the uh, summoning and special oh, that's right. thing first. Um, but then, me, yes, that's my next place to go. Let me zoom over to the summoning. Uh, page 273. All right. Let me zoom in here. 
I really like the old Adobe better. First, you create a container to hold the entity. You have ritual, right? Yep. And what's your ritual for? It's crafting. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you should be able to craft a container. Um, okay. Okay, it says it uses the same as a ward, so let's look at that. Oh, this is good because when you guys get into making wards, you'll know how to do it. So, so the, um, yeah. do you plan on making Janice like more powerful, magically speaking, at all, or keeping her here? Or have you not thought about it yet? That's uh, I don't think she... Too. I know. I, I don't asking. think I really want to make her more powerful magically. I feel like she's probably at the limit of what her magic can do. Okay. Um, like Unless she makes any I deals think, with the devil, proverbially speaking. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Like, I I feel like if I take any more m more stuff, it's going to be like mortal stunts. Yep. Um, I'll be picking up a coin recommend. by accident. I would recommend looking at the refinements power, because they'll let you carry and start with more potions. Just to yeah, represent yeah. you know, having a bigger cache of stuff. I'll look into that. Yeah. Because two per session is pretty limiting. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's one of the things I feel is really kludgy about the system. Like, you have to have a power to make the potions and then have access to them. But you could just buy them at a store. Like, this makes no sense. But that's how it works. So, if you buy the refinement power, you could have more <sighs> potions. Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm ready to spend that uh, refresh right now. Sure. But... I only have one. Huh. Yeah. All right, so it's on my list. To, um... I need to have the base complexity for the ward. Um, I'm going to say the complexity is four. Okay. So well, I get actually, complexity no, and control plus one for my ritual circle. Yeah, the complexity will be six. Sorry. Okay, so is that what do I roll? So here's how it works. Yeah. Um, this is my triangle. So okay. you need to accumulate six successes. Okay. Now, you have to do that over multiple rows. Or you don't okay. have to, but you have the choice to do it over multiple rows. I what think you that do sounds is a good plan. You choose the power. Okay. So let's say you made, you chose the power as one. Then you'd have to roll over one with your discipline. And then okay. if you succeed, you can get one point towards the six. Yeah, I do that let's six times. Say you, yeah, let's say you felt more confident. You went for two. Um, in that case, you would have to roll over two under discipline roll each time. Mm -hmm. If you don't make the roll, then you're going to start. the The magic tries to. It's like you shorted out electrical current. The magic mm -hmm. will try and come out through you, and you'll take damage equal to the accumulated shifts. Okay. So, until you're very powerful, you want to do it slowly. Okay. But if I... Okay, so my question is, if I do two instead of one, does that mean I get two successes on that turn? Right. Okay. And each turn will be about 30 seconds. Okay. So I guess I will start at power level one and see how it goes. All right. So go ahead and give me a discipline roll. Yep. Four. Uh, it's not showing up for me. Let me check this. It's a four. There it is. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I needed to make sure it was actually showing for me yep. anyhow. Go ahead and Sometimes do it, it lags out. Yeah. Six. Jeez. What is Maybe your actual your bonus? No. Plus four. Yeah, he's being risky doing it at all. Uh, go ahead and do another one. <laughs> right. 
Go for your fourth one. Three. Okay. Fifth one. Sixth one. What happens if you match? Does it count as a pass or a fail if you match? I'd have to look it up. Okay. I, I would okay. assume Fair it would enough. be a pass. Yeah. So you see, uh, okay. if he had rolled that two, and he has powers of four, he would have taken six stress of damage, which is bad. Yeah, that would have been bad. Okay. Okay. So I'm yeah. glad I took one. Okay. Yep. It took you six rolls, which is three minutes to do the spell. Okay. So you uh, create the container. Let me look at the PDF again. So that's 272 we want. Now for the actual summoning. Uh, we're going to assume you summon a creature uh, associated with craftsmanship. Okay. Just trying to summon the most minor fairy that so, you can. Yeah, like, let's think, uh, like, like the fairies that make shoes. Right, something like that. So this usually involves enough complexity so you need to beat their conviction. So I have to roll a discipline larger than their conviction. Right. So this is the okay. same thing. Um, so the, the difficulty will still be six. I mean, the complexity mm -hmm. will still be six. And you have to make rolls that add up to six. Okay, so I'd make six rolls that are larger. Right. right. Oh, so okay. at this point, while you're, you're working like, on this, I'm going to go AFK real quick. Sure. Okay. So you've at this point you've configured your summoning circle to trap the fairy. Okay. And now you're now summoning make it. Six rolls again. Yep. Okay. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right. You were super lucky with your rolls, man. <laughs> so if you're confident enough, I, I could say, like, oh, I, I need six, six, six successes. I'm just going to, like, do a power level six. If I roll it once on the first try, I automatically succeed. Yeah. And I mean, so you, fail, you better get lucky. Yeah. Or have yeah. a really high... Uh, conviction. Right. Or you can use those fate points. Oh yeah, you can use those fate true. points too. No, I have somebody that helping okay. you that will help. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you um, have your summoning circle and um, you just channel your energy into it like just so it says you're usually you use the uh, the time Trying to figure out the uh, entity's true name. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say her true name is Goodwin Goodfolk. Goodwin Goodfolk. And okay. she. She's it's, like. That's just good wine, good folk. Nice. It's like a little, like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a hobbit phrase. Yeah. Hmm. So she's like about six inches tall. Like she just um, she comes in the window in the window like she's flying on little wings. Um, okay. she's not like your your traditional fairy. Like she looks more like she's got this like exoskeleton, this like um, like this green like shitness, and she's has like a shield in one hand, just made of the same material, and like this. This long spear in the other, with like a bit of stone on the end. Okay. And she's like flying on like B wings. She makes this B B sound as she flies in. She's got little um, feathered antenna on her head, and she like she's drawn by the magic of the circle. And as soon as she steps inside, like these uh, mystic symbols like shoot up into the air around her and she realizes she's trapped. She's like, what? And she like brings her spear down to try and break out, but it just reflects off and bounces her into the middle of the circle. 
Like, I see, I finally have her trapped. And, like, it's nice to meet you, good wing, good folk. I need a favor. She, like, shudders as you speak her name. What is it? I need you to make me... I need you to make me a magical object. A magical object? I like, like to uh, define, like, the magic. I want a pair of glasses that can show me when a human is being possessed by a fairy creature. Hmm. Well, you've run into those, have you? Uh, they've been showing up more and more lately. Yes. Good work. Much good work. Very well. Um, show me the item you wish enchanted. I hold up, like, these pair of glasses. I'll put them in the circle. Will me putting it into the circle break the circle? No. Okay, then I put them in the circle. You have to physically make sure erase break the, the circle. circle in some way. Okay, yeah, I just put them in there for it. Or, like, if you were to place, like, an object across the circle, like a book or something, covering it up, okay. that would also break the circle. But okay. just reaching in or walking through a circle does not break it. It also okay. depends on what part of the circle you're placing the object, if it's right. a multi-layered circle. True. Yeah. Yep. Oh well, yeah, you put the glasses in there and she like takes a look at it. And it's like um she she's like somehow like takes this bag out from behind her back and it's like this little miniature like screwdriver set and she goes to work on the glasses like um she pops out the lenses and puts in invisible ones and that's why people wear those like really bad like like lensless glasses maybe that's yeah maybe that's what it happens but like no she takes out the lens and then she gets like this hammer and chisel out and she starts like carving into the the glass or the plastic of the lens until it's got like this mystic symbol on it. And then she like just like spits on it and the symbol like just disappears. And she spits on the other one. So that should do it. Okay, I get I um if I release you, you will leave in peace, correct? You must give me something of equal value to you, as I have given you. What What would you like in return? It looks around, it's like, hmm, we could use a new home. Oh, God. How many of them are, how many of you are there? Oh, for the nest? No. Like three or four. We would build a a home in the corner of your house. You wouldn't ever notice us. But we'd be within your threshold where it's safe. And you, you would bring no trouble into my house? None whatsoever. We promise we will not bother you unless you seek our aid. And you will defend this threshold as your own? Well, not necessarily, but we won't draw attention to ourselves, of course. Very well. You and your your family may live within the confines of my house. Good deal. She, like, flies up, like, now release me! And she I just like, fucking like, got you! <laughs> and yeah, just, I know, she right? just flies out. <laughs> But surprise when you get home, Cynthia. Okay, so I take my glasses, I like pocket those, I like inside my like front pocket or like my leather jacket, and like now I'm one of like a nerd. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So now I want to make my way to the pawn shop. All right, you make your way to the pawn shop. Give me an alertness check. Okay. Yeah. Mm, where's my alertness? Do I have alertness? Yes, I do. Three. I was about to ask if the police followed me on the but, way. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of like, too. making sure of. Yeah, you see there's a police car following you, Axel. 
Uh, okay, so like before I get there, I want to try to like disappear from the police car and use stealth. Go ahead. Welcome back. Because I mean, like, I don't want to be rude and bring police to my contact in the. Um, right. That's a very bad stealth roll. I only have it at plus one. Oh, okay, roll this again. Damn. You wouldn't notice them following you? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, oh alertness, you said? Oh, sorry, I rolled stealth. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you said alert. Oh, my bad. Okay. Before. Oh, you do notice they're still they're still following you. Okay. Um, at this point, let's copy you and put yourself where you're going. So I, okay, so I'm like almost to the pawn shop, and I'm trying to figure out what to do about the police car. Okay, so you're still going towards the pawn shop. Yeah, so you, I like tried to lose them before I got there, and I noticed they're still following me. Right. Now I'm deciding whether I want to go to the pawn shop and have them know. I'm not doing anything illegal per se. I'm just going to talk to him, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, I want to like end up at the pawn shop. All right. I assume it's still during working hours and the place is still open. Yeah. Time is getting okay. weird. But yeah. Okay, so like, I like, I put it's on just my like glasses. It's right? Files novel. Yeah. I know, right? So I put on my glasses before I walk through, but then I walk into the shop and take a quick look around, see if anything pops. Oh, uh, give me an investigation check. Four. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. Okay, fair enough. Then I take off my glasses and put them back in my pocket. I look for my contact. I don't remember his name yeah. for the life of me. You're but very sure the that there's no fairy creatures in here. Um, okay. Man, what was his name? We based him we off like a, a rodent kind of creature. Yeah, I remember talking about it. But I just don't remember his name. Like he's a he's some kind of flying squirrel who shifts shapes yep. into a squirrel. The California yep. ground squirrel is what you said. So yeah, something like that. So uh, he's this like so nervous looking guy, like a little bit, a little bit small, like skinny. Yep. Uh, he's just like he's behind the counter. You'd never guess he owns the place. But you know he does. Like he just he doesn't. Yeah, have, otherwise, he, he looks like a project. The presence that you expect. And he doesn't even okay. look old enough. Okay, so I like I walk up to him. And he's like, "We need to talk." So, what happened? Uh, there was a little issue with the police earlier. You in trouble? I wonder if you have any contacts. Not yet. I I found. I, me and some friends of mine came across this guy that hurt himself, and we reported. We gave him to the police to like take to the hospital. They, they think I have something to do with it, but they have no evidence yet. Um, and there is no evidence it. to find. So, I, I occasionally have to deal with the police because you know, pawn shop. Yeah, people so I was wondering if you had contacts that you could like talk to and see. How it's going? Like, what's how, if I'm like the prime suspect of this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I I can get somebody. Um, can you <clears throat> like just tell me tell me exactly what happened so I know what's where about? Yeah, so board. I I so we were investigating this this disturbance, like many earthquake that we felt in near the inner stage, like down. Uh, like, I gen described the general area where the inner sage is. Right. We ran across these humans that are being inhabited by fake creatures. And then when we exercised the fake creatures from them, the humans passed out. And, this, and when we turned them into the... the uh, we called 911 to get the uh, ambulance. Come take them away. Mm. All right. Um, what's the story, like? You want me to just tell them about the well, I, fairy? I like, told them. I told the them. So far, I've told them. I told the uh, 
police that we found the guy passed out and that we don't know what happened to him. Since right. we can't really tell the police about fake creatures, we told him he just passed out. Right. He attention. Well, I'll try. Uh, roll your report for me. Do I have that skill? Like, he's coming off as really honest with you. Like, he wants to help you. Yeah, I know, but he runs a pawn shop. <laughs> right. I got a one. Good enough. Yeah, he, he knows that you are being above board with him. Says. Okay. All right. I have talked with some people that are aware of the, uh, the supernatural and the fairy. Okay. I'll call them up and let them know that this is that kind of case. Okay. And he won't be able to get you off the, off the hook, but he'll know how to handle this. Okay. Uh, like, also, you should know that there's been a lot of fairy, fairy creatures that have been popping up lately. The pre- yeah. they're... <laughs> Steve told me it, it sounds really okay. bad. Yeah, so watch yourself. And I'm still working on getting that car part you sent out for me yeah. earlier. The Faye are making it difficult. Yeah, they might be making everything difficult. They're just like, they all seem to be trying to move in. I don't understand Yeah, it. It's a problem. Not good. Um, oh, out of character? Yeah. I found out that there is actually, like, Jim Butcher actually made a post that said, there is no, like, masquerade in the Judgment Files. The only thing that keeps the supernatural from messing with humanity is fear of humanity. Yeah, okay. So, that's why I couldn't remember what it's called, because it didn't exist. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Alright, back in character, I guess. Um, yeah. so... so like... Yeah, but that's... Unless you have anything else, I'm gonna head back to my place. Be careful. Like, watch yourself. He's like, no. Let's. Yep. Yeah, I'll make the calls. Yeah. And I like. All right. Are the cops still outside? Make an investigation check. And I'd like tell him the cops have been following me. Just be careful. Okay. Two. You don't notice the cops. Okay. I make my way back to the part my apartment. Okay. Uh, about Unless half something else there. pops up. About like halfway there, um, when you're going like across this well lit road, like the yeah. cop car comes up to you and it's like its lights go on. Yeah. Flash the siren for a second, and the cop I stop. Like opens when it's like I stop. Uh, what's your name? Character's name? Axel. His real name. I mean, his real first name's Axel. <laughs> I mean, like the cop I, is like has like a little headache as he looks at some papers. Okay, like, I mean, I, I'm not Axel? an actual citizen. I'm not right. a citizen. I don't have any papers right. to be here. It's like, do you go by <laughs> Axel? I like nod and say yes in German. All right, uh, a very you, thick German accent. You're wanted for uh, questioning in relation to. Uh, the assault on one Tom, uh, public works department. His his middle name is public. His last name is works. It's awkward. Yep. It's really awkward. So I, I like respond in German. It's like what? I'm trying to like like confuse him. It's like probably don't have the right person because right. I don't speak English. So, sorry. Do you speak English? No, I like okay. nod. Left or right? It's like, oh, he gets out of the car. He's like, he says, "Could you please get in the vehicle, sir?" And he opens the back door, waving you in. Okay, I sit in the back seat. Okay, <laughs> you don't have the seat, do you? Once he like closes the door, I put my glasses on to look at the two of them. Okay, uh, the guy gets in the front seat, and you can see that they're not possessed. Okay, that that makes me feel a tad bit better. Okay. And go. 
back to the courthouse. You should have stayed uh, at the courthouse just a little longer. Well, okay. The police station, I guess. That yeah. And <laughs> at least I got my, at least I got my phone call in before I got there. Oh. <sighs> well, you get there and they ask you if you want a phone call. I mean, well, I mean, at least I got to talk to the pawn shop first. Right. I mean, uh... Like, they ask you questions. Uh, we don't want to roleplay it out. I mean, I'm not going to, like, go into super details. Like, I, I've, I'm, i like, I try to fake, like, how much English I know, so I make it look, like, less than well, they, I actually know. They bring in a guy that actually speaks German. Oh, God. God damn Okay, it. whatever. I'm just going to speak in German <laughs> the whole time and to him and, like... Explain, like, I found the guy outside, he fell and hurt himself, like, I guess, I don't know. Like, we and have we, like, witnesses that say that he was actually in the, uh, working in the No Valley, which is rather far away from where your apartment is. Is that anywhere close to, like, the Inner Sage, or is that somewhere completely yeah, far away? Yeah, that's the neighborhood that the Inner Sage is in. And, um, okay. on the work roster, that's where he was supposed to be, too. He's not supposed to be by your apartment. The, mm. Then I Can guess you I. Ex- that at all? Yeah, I'm gonna explain. Like we, my friends found him like near there, and we like took him back to my place because we didn't think he was hurt as bad as he was. Then he was, and we called nine one one. But why did you even take him at all? Like you could have taken him to. You could have taken him we to. Thought, we thought he just like passed out from heat stroke. So and there. Was, how did you get him over a mile away? Okay, so, like, one, I explained, like, the earthquake he told me about. Like, there was an earthquake, he like, said, and that's why, like, we went and looked, investigated the area, and found him. Okay, so there was an earthquake? You thought there was an earthquake? That um, the, I, That's what Tom said, or whatever, before he passed out. And where did you find him? Like, I... Near that vent that popped up in the middle of the street. He was on the road? Yes. Alright, do you have anybody that can confirm the statement of yours? Uh, Cynthia has a phone. I don't know Cynthia's <laughs> number. It's Tom's number, do you know Tom? <laughs> Yeah, but that's gonna be super sketch. <laughs> yeah, my friend stole his phone, but she can cooperate my story. <laughs> he like raises an eyebrow. Give me a deceit check. I mean, you can call I probably gonna end up giving him like Thomas or like Thomas's like number. If you know it. Yeah, I mean, he gave it to me on a piece of paper. I like hand it to him. Oh, okay. All right, you're not deceiving him very well. Um, okay. He's like, I mean, I'm he thinks your like story is like, yeah, like he, he can't separate the truth from the half-truths. All right. He's like, hmm. He looks at his phone number and looks at you. I give him a big thumbs up. Like, yeah. All right, Mr. X, so we're going to have to ask you to stay here. Is that your real name? Yes. Where did you get a name like Axel? It's a good German name. He's like, hmm. Wouldn't it be the word Axel in German? <laughs> I, I just like Axel get turned, like, translated? I don't know. Let me, I'm like Googling. Google maybe if it is, point, I mean, like, maybe at this point the cop is just giving you shit to try and poke the story holes in your story. I mean, at this point, it's like no, Axel. My Axel name in in myself. German is Axel. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like no, it, yeah, my right. name's Axel. Fucking German guy. He's just fucking with you to see if he can poke holes in your story. Okay. It is no, Axel. My name's Axel. Axel. It's like all right, all right. Welcome to the States, Mr. Axel. And I probably, like, keep my glasses on from the, uh, from when I get out of the cop car, too. Like, so they won't try to take them away to, like, I need them. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Investigation. Zero. A zero? Yep. Oh, you know that he is not 
possess. Okay. Okay. At least yeah. not as bad as it could be. Yeah. Okay. All right. So like he's like, all right, we're gonna have to hold you for Just further questioning. Like alien abduction. We may, uh, we may need to hold you as a suspect, depending on what your what your friends say. I just like point at the number, like go call them. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. And he leaves you and they lock you up. Um, yep, so after a bit, 